the principals had not gotten the money to run school for the last term. Yes? And when it is you don't your creditors are calling, you 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 you're hiding from people, you're not able and yet the, 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 our employers are telling the nation that schools must provide nutritious lunch for the children. With what money? With which money? As you said, hypocrisy. Hold a line for me, please. Running African, reuniting the African family for development. All right, back with you inside of the Africa Forum. This is Running Africa. And in this segment of the program, we're going to be speaking with the president of the Jamaica Teachers Association, Lasanya Harrison, chief servant of St. Faith's Primary School located in Glengough, St. Catherine. She's a trained graduate of the Shortwood Teachers College and holds a Master's of Arts degree in supervision from Western Carolina University. Ms. Harrison has served the education sector for 15 years, 12 of which were dedicated to serving the young ladies at Holy Childhood High prior to occupying her current post. She is a passionate person about education and all matters relating to the education um, sector. So we're standing by to speak with Miss uh, Lasanya Harrison in this segment of the program. All right, go to the phone lines. My next very special guest online, Miss Lasanya Harrison. Thank you so much for joining us on the phone lines, Miss Harrison. How are you doing? I am good. God is good. He has given us another day. I am blessed. Right. To you and to all your listeners. Thank you so much. Proverbs 10, verse 15. Um, the rich man's wealth is in the strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Right. We, you, you know what's interesting, Miss Harrison, is that we called you, we, this interview with you, we booked it from the beginning of the month, right? Um, and wanted you earlier, but 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 because of other, um, I think um, you couldn't make it earlier, and and so on. So here we are now. But it's interesting because we booked you before the announcement from. Oh, yes, because because that's not what you're here for, and, and and our listeners probably won't ever believe it. Um, but but I I, I really have to, to to say that that. It is just synchronicity that you were booked to talk about uh, as part of Child Month um, what's happening in, with our with our children in schools and so on um, from the from the Jamaica Teachers Association persp- um, Association perspective, but also uh, as an educator and and what are some of the solutions to solving some of the problems and the challenges that we have in the school. But I can't go on, and it would be remiss of me to go on without first getting from you. Um, your, and I've heard you elsewhere, but not in, in this particular space, your, in, your, your response to the announcement of the 100 to 230, if not 300 percent increase for, um, for, for politicians that has been announced, your, 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 um, your response. Well, I think the response of Jamaica is um, and certainly the different group. Um, I'm not quite sure if the the out, outrage and the shock and of it is not um, and even hypocrisy and, and everything else are not shared. Mm-hmm. And I will continue to outline that we are not begrudging of any public sector group in terms of their salaries that they are to receive. All we want is for the teachers to receive their fair due and that what you committed to give the teachers, that is what the teachers should at least get, the very least. Mm-hmm. Though we know that there are category of teachers, in particular the trained graduate grouping, that um, their their remuneration um, package could have uh, needed further attention, mm-hmm. given that you would have taken away allowances like the special teachers, so, um, special teachers allowance, and in particular, very critical one, the book, software, and technology allowance that was claimed to be. Um, rolled in, um, mm-hmm. and and that particular allowance 
is critical even as the government at this time says that it is we are embracing the um, bimodal um, approach to education. So should in the event any activity um, happens that disrupt the regular teaching and learning our children at going to the physical classroom, we should be able to access the students online. Mm -hmm. The laptops that were promised to teachers started from rolling out from 2020. One, 2022 teachers are yet to receive. There are still groupings of teachers mm-hmm. to still receive those laptops, the government says, until 2024. Now, because it is the, that happens with education is not immediate, mm-hmm. we continue as a nation to delay mm-hmm. the injection of the much needed funds mm-hmm. in, in, in funding, resourcing, comprehensive educational opportunities. Um, of, um, opportunities to all our children mm-hmm. and resource in the sector, the teachers with the with that which they need to effectively carry out their duties. At and some I point, think, at some point, Miss Harrison, yes. we're going to have to say it is deliberate. All right, at some point, we're going to have to call it what it is. <laughs> okay. um, somebody decided very early that Jamaica was going to be a service industry. Remember that decision was taken. So Jamaica has to feed the BPO. Jamaica has to feed the tourism plantation enslavement situation. Jamaica has to feed the um, that, 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 that lowest rung of employment ladder. And if you educate your people properly, you will not have these um, slaves. To to, to 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 feed those those sectors, right? And we're going to have to call it what it is. Same re- same reason why they didn't have sixth form in the tourism areas until people shout out that it was because of tourism. Why they didn't put sixth forms in the tourism areas because they wanted the children to leave from the school through the back door of the hotels. Mm-hmm. Right. So we're going to have to call it because now they have said that they are that they're giving themselves salary increases, billion dollars in salary increases so they can find money from somewhere. Now, I want to check back, walk back some of the things you said. One first, you talked about hypocrisy. Build up on that for me because you're saying the outrage. Um, you're wondering if some of this is not hypocrisy. Explain well, that. We're told categorically that they can't. Mm-hmm. do anything else for the teacher because we don't want to be we're going into the capital expenditure we don't want the um we don't want to derail the macro um, um gains that have been made and all the thing and we need the teachers to understand and we need the teachers to hold strain again and we need the teachers to understand that this is the best that the government can do for the teachers because if persons have been listening to me and for those who choose to be fair, they, um, I have been saying there are categories of teachers who are okay. They can live on what it is that they are get there. They will be getting, mm-hmm. but there are some groupings in particularly our trained graduates. The whole restructuring exercise though, it was there, um, it, whether deliberately or or not, or, mm-hmm. or not, mm-hmm. it, it affected the people who have served for years in the service in a negative way. How and so? In, and in teaching, it is it is it has resonated. It has gone home. Many of our senior teachers. Or teachers who carry out posts of special responsibility. They are trained graduates, but they have additional duties for which they have been compensated. Mm-hmm. Those persons have gone home with less money in terms of even just the retroactive sums that were calculated. Their years of service have been reneged, devalued, undervalued in the transitioning where it is that they were at the 11th point of the scale. Some people done the scale all together mm-hmm. and then they were now transitioned to now the fourth point mm-hmm. of this new band. And literally, the persons who... So that was not taken at all into the, the, the transitioning because of the agreed, um, what do you call it, um, scaling, mm-hmm. scaling conversion policy that we inherited from mm-hmm. another group of public sector workers. We did not contribute to that discussion. Mm-hmm. And so had we, because when you take 
um, teachers who would have served um, at point A to point to second seniority mm-hmm. on this scale and put them to point four. That is 10 years, teachers who have given 10 years, within 10 years of service, and you know, to, um, comprise and compress all of them and mm-hmm. put them down to point four, mm-hmm. near to the teacher who is just coming into the system at point one. So you're seeing that much differential mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm value for my 25, 30, Mm -hmm. 40 years of service to this nation. It is, it is, it's coming. Um, (laughs) uh, uh, Yes. We're going to have oh to. I think personally that we have to call the things what they are, because yeah. when we use all different kinds of language and metaphors to to, to dress to dress them up, we will <laughs> never be able to, to 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 challenge them and to get rid of them. So here we have a situation where the teachers um, beg on their faces. I was on this program begging the teachers, please do not sign. Right, oh, um, and 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 I spent so many days saying, please do not sign because <laughs> this is a neoliberal agenda. That is that, that the teachers are the first in terms of the public sector worker to really feel it more than anybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But we see, week and education is already in a crisis. So, what are the teachers going to do now? What, what's what's the next step from here? Uh, I, I, will the teachers? Um, remain? I know you have been talking out, and I have been talking to many teachers, but. This salary increase that has been announced, will the teachers sit back and, and, and accept that? Well, we are our, our council met for a special meeting and we have outlined some plan of action. So you, the, 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 uh, that will be revealed to the nation in, in the coming days. I support you 100%, you know. And, and, and there are many of us out here who support the teachers and supporting ourselves. I yes. think that we are at a point in our history because mm-hmm. history is what it is. We are creating history. We are participants in the history. We are That's actors that. in the history and we are agents of the history. And That's right that. at this minute, our responsibility is to ensure they roll back those 300 and 200 percent um, salary increases, you know. So we stand with the teachers. I simply hope that you do not have any sellout in the JTA or any way. I have been watching the JTA for a very long time, and I have spoken many times in this space about how the, the, the JTA, in so many different cases, have let down the teachers. Mm-hmm. Now, I saw the stance that you made, and I must congratulate you on it, right? I'm going to congratulate you on that. But I, I, I hope that the JTA will stand, it, stand it, its ground and stand with the teachers. Help our listeners to, anou- to, to understand what a teacher on the lowest rung carries home and how that feedback into whether or not that teacher can, can operate properly in, this, in the classroom. Uh, well, our teachers who are... Um those who are at the diploma level starting much lower, of course, than those who are at the trained graduate level. We don't have a lot of diploma teachers, but we still have a few. Um, and so it's even the very JTA who would have advocated and said, okay, teachers, we will need to um, increase, improve our qualification yet. The teachers continue to improve their qualification, but the remuneration package is certainly not meeting same because no other trained group, no other um, professional group earns the meager sums that teachers earn. They are going to have to and go so into politics. Pardon me? They are going to have to go into politics. That, that, that can't be the response because our teacher, our classrooms are in need of Jamaican teachers mm-hmm. to, to, to pass on and to model um, uh, behaviors and values mm-hmm. that are in keeping with our national anthem and pledge. <laughs> yes? Yes. This nation and so persons need to wake up and see what are some, perhaps some of the wider agenda. Mm-hmm. And if this is an agenda to frustrate the teachers out of the classroom, mm-hmm. then we are going to pray against and we are going to Certainly, you kid. Yes. <laughs> like I say, pray against. 
<laughs> no, no, I laugh, you know, but honestly, I have been drawing for Bible scriptures this morning, you know, and, and, and this is the Africa Forum, right? So we understand where we're coming from. But, 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 but I think that we have no recourse right now but to appeal to the conscience of the nation. And I, the people in parliament have no conscience, so we, we leave them out of it. But it is a nation that is going to have to rally. But, and the nation is where the power lies. The people somehow have forgotten that we have delegated power to our elected leaders. How do they do not represent themselves. What are you? What are you hearing from the teachers generally? Because I can tell you that I've, I've been uh, talking to a few teachers and I know they feel betrayed like the rest of us, but their betrayal cuts deeper. What are you yeah. hearing generally? Um, similar sentiments. Teachers are hurt so much to the point that I don't know you 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 want um her to the re, to the resignation that um you know and I've been saying to them through different um interviews uh, to say that this is not the time for us to do our traditional response on which the government is counting that we just roll over and say oh as to them always street we not now go come out of it mm. it can't be no you know no. but I know and some are responding by exiting yes I know it One, is. While we were in the meeting um, just recently on, on on Thursday evening, I think it was, um, our, a, mes- a member messaged me and said, Madam President, I get a, a number of persons and some information coming out of a, a group in the United States to say some X hundred number of people leaving. She said the numbers I beat me. The number is so shocking. She said I have to go confirm it before. Mm-hmm. I, I, I tell you, it's so for mm-hmm. you to really speak to it, you know. But the number of teachers expected to go for September coming. Jamaica, we really need to get up and ask if this is the quality education system we want for our children. Ask our leaders if they say they so care about the children. Why is it schools um, we're not paying the teachers well to retain? And this was the season to encourage the hearts of the teachers to give them a livable wage for them to make the choice to remain in Jamaica. So when it is so many teachers, so the, the teachers are frustrated, not only because of their financial well-being mm-hmm. and it, it having the ripple effect across the line when they can't send their children to tertiary education. They live from paycheck to week two and they have they live from loan to loan, mm-hmm. all of these things. And, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, so when it is you have that, the working condition. So many of our schools are in need of infrastructural um, rehaul, overhauling, mm, you know? Mm-hmm. The, 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 we don't have the human resource. March 31st, mm-hmm. subsequently several days thereafter, print a person that went to a function on the 31st of March. That school on the 31st of March, the second term, coming to the second end of the second term was mm-hmm. registering that it was short of 11 teachers. Mm-hmm. 11 teachers. And that is just one school. Several schools are getting. The teachers are resigning and there are schools that have not filled vacancies yet we continue to hold the fort. Teachers' mm-hmm. timetables are bursting at the same. Classes will have to be remerged for mm-hmm. the gains that we got a few years ago to reduce the class sizes to 1 to 25. We, mm-hmm. That is on the threat. Because mm-hmm. if the teachers go, you can't find any replacement. The argument is that teachers' colleges are putting out enough persons. But there is no guarantee that everybody who get, um, graduate from teachers' college We'll go we'll into the classroom. Go into the classroom, especially with the frustrations that they're seeing and with the and with the salary, mm-hmm. right? If no. we were to survey the, the public, the private sector right now, we have enough trained teachers in the private sector right now to fill every single space in our classroom. Jamaica needs to stop the hypocrisy. You know how many persons party teaching, mm-hmm. and the private sector is 
sport is benefiting. It is thriving today because of the skill set of the trained teacher mm -hmm. operating in other spaces today. In banking, in every industry you can think of. Banking, you know, media, banking. tourism, you name it. it is in, the teachers are everywhere because, as yes, you say, the skill sets of the teachers in demand more than anything else. Okay, um, because once you are a trained teacher, you can learn almost anything madam and function anywhere because you are so positioned to, 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 to be trainable and retrain in such quick succession and then this managerial skill that the classroom teacher must have persons are benefiting from that today and then there is this hypocrisy when the teachers are calling for a livable wage that you have people out there who are saying otherwise and and and, and it and, is hypocrisy and and, and and you're so but you see it is hypocrisy and, and and as you said at the beginning but this hypocrisy is now coming to light because the the the, the those who's who who thought that when the teachers asked for a livable wage and and the government told them that the minister of finance told them that there was they couldn't go any any further and those who made a mockery of the teachers those who laughed i heard some interviews you know and, and some of my colleagues are guilty of 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 political tribalism and, 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 and as a result of that, we got the kind of response in spaces that we shouldn't have um, to the plight of the teachers. But those very same colleagues now um, seem to be speaking out to some extent about the, um, the, 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 the announcement that we're hearing from Parliament. But, but the question still remains, though, is if... Uh, and it's not just the teachers. It's the teachers, the police, the nurses, public sector, right? Yes, um, so so, so here, here we have a situation where all these um, sectors were told, listen, we do not have the money to pay you. There's no way it can, the, 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 the budget cannot afford it. The government can afford it. There's no way on God's hurt that is going to come from. And, and people began to buy into that. And then you're told that you're going to find billions more. The mm. question remains is where is that money coming from? From. The money that is going to be paying the, um, the the politicians, the question remains is where is it coming from? And, and journalism has failed, not just the teachers, okay. but failed in many, in many, many ways. I want to suggest to my colleagues um, that they, uh, they do reports, features on, on schools. Go to the different schools. Look, look what's happening in the classroom and, and, and report on that because that, that is where the truth lies. You know, not not in your state. studios. Look at the state of our schools yes. in which we say as a nation that we love our children and that they need care and protection. And the place that our children spend so much of their waking hours, when you look at that space that we call classroom, which is the learning condition of the student and the working condition of the teacher. They are married. You cannot divorce them. So when we are we are calling to improve our working conditions, inevitably we are representing and lobbying on behalf of the children of this nation. Because when it additional resources, be it human, infrastructural, financial, are not the first to our schools. Our children feel it. Um, just up to, and I need to check in with my colleagues again if they have all received their past monies and their uh, their tranche for the final term. Because to the when I when I got word, but because of the compensation review, um, other things take that taking precedence, right? The the the, the teachers, the principals had not gotten the monies to run school for the last term. Yes. And when it is you don't your creditors are calling, you 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 you're hiding from people, you're not able and yet the, 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 our employers are telling the nation that schools must provide nutritious lunch for the children. With what money? With which money? As you said, hypocrisy. Hold a line for me, please. What, what they're doing, uh, Miss Harrison, we're speaking with my very special guest, Lasonia Harrison, who is the president of the Jamaica Teachers Association. What they're doing, in effect, is gaslighting the teachers and gaslighting the nations. And we see the nation, and we see that happening right now um, in the middle of this conversation, in this discussion that's ongoing in the nation about the salary increases that they have granted to themselves. 
All right. You you mentioned the path, um, Moniz, just now. I, I, I want to look a little bit at what the current situation is in schools regarding path, because my understanding from talking to teachers over time in this space is that even though we tend to, uh, and, and it's a good, it, it, it's, it's working for some, but, but it is not enough. And so that there are, you, you, the teachers that find themselves in many schools picking and choosing who gets the path um, benefit in terms of lunch on, on any given day, some three days, some two days, some one day, um, stuff like that. Is, do you, do you, have you heard about that? Indeed. And um, um, recommendations have come that you really should to the school, let the school recommend some of the, 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 the students who are in, are in need of them. And when sometimes when we do recommend, it is not acted on, right? Mm-hmm. Because we know some of the children who are truly, when I tell you, in need. So mm-hmm. currently, currently, what we receive is $120 for lower school in the primary school per day, per child. Mm. And one hundred and fifty dollars mm. for those in upper school, mm. um, four to six per day, per, per day. day, per child. Oh, to which nutritious lunch can yes. that None. provide? None. The minister has recently announced in Parliament that there will be an increase um, in the past allocation. Um, if I don't want to misquote her, I think she did say two billion dollars. Mm. But when you divide that, and and the goal is to feed one hundred and eighty thousand children, that is the goal of mm. the four hundred and ten thousand children who access education formally mm-hmm. in our education. One hundred and eighty thousand plus children is the goal to feed. We have several children who come to school. And when you talk about nutritious lunch and think about the food hike, and I've asked the minister um, concerning this, and that's why my my Labor Day project for this year, tomorrow, coming Mm -hmm. next next week, has to do with us establishing those food gardens. It has to be part of the solution. Every school needs to be planting something. Because we don't see crisis yet as a nation, you know. No. Things are brewing out there. Mm -hmm. And when those things escalate to a level, Mm -hmm. those countries will be safeguarding for their people Mm -hmm. first. You're right. So we must be able to feed ourselves. Yes. You're right. And so and so the trust for so we need to so the food how much we get for pass these days. It is still inadequate. We will see what the move is, but I'm telling you the cost to produce a lunch cannot two hundred what two hundred dollars cannot buy a patty. No. Well, that's and the point. Wonders- so if people understand, when you talk about $100 for nutrition, dollars uh, and change for nutritious lunch, it tells you that really and truly it's a slap in the face. It's disgusting in a way, you know, to, 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 to see that there's so much touting of the PATH program. But at the end of the day, ah. pra- practically on the ground, when you go into the schools, you find that it's a program that is underfunded underfunded and they will tell you that they have supplemented it with nutritional um with breakfast what they send the, the npl products um well i can only talk about what my school gets um in terms of some little sachet for for cre- um wheat to make um porridge and they and every it doesn't come and then they also get bun and water right um so when we again we're we're out there. It sounds like the days of everything. Oliver Twist. Uh, you know, I I I am I I I am <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss. You know, I'm I, I'm at a loss. Just just trying to understand what is the government's thinking um, on um, education in Jamaica. It has to be a deliberate. Um, policy that they have set up as one to drive the teachers out maybe the older more experienced teachers to bring in newer teachers from the from the from the um teachers colleges who will start at the bot- at the bottom of the of, of the ladder the, the, we're going to have to possibly to, to look at this in a different way also to feed the bpo sector and the tourism sector they are doing what they're doing deliberately you can't tell me that any country any nation that wants to build to build in, 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 in that this is a way you treat education it has uh-huh. to be it has to be deliberate um 
where do we go from here, uh, Miss Harrison? What is it? What's the next move? Mm-hmm. What, what? Um, we, our education system, one of the anchors that we are in need of, and I'm, I get to understand one has been crafted with, I don't know with whom, because certainly we are the teachers have not participated in that process as far as I know, and, it, and the nation needs to have a say in what it also looks like. What we need, what we're, we're operating without is that articulated, circulated, well ventilated, and an agreed philosophy of education. Mm. Until we determine what as a nation our educational output, what mm-hmm. it is that we would like to see mm-hmm. yes, from our education sector, yes. one that is driven by the educators because such any argument about a philosophy and a blueprint, a roadmap for mm-hmm. education, one ought to be certainly driven, that process must should be driven by educators. So there's no as far so so the, what is <laughs> there's no philosophy on education every right child now? Every child can learn, every child must is not a Oh but that's a, no 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 that's 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 what I want to say. And yeah. that's because we have been operating on for years. No, no, but, but that is not like, a philosophy. In my calling for same, I saw something circulated in a space. I don't know. It has not come to national attention as far as I am aware. And so that is why I, my words are deliberate, deliberate, that it should be articulated, it should be circulated, and it should be agreed upon by the people of this nation. So we need a philosophy in that state, one that is underpinned by Judeo-Christian principles, one that is has a tenet of our national anthem and pledge embedded in same. Well, it as you, you, are in, you are in a space that is called the Africa Forum, one that, one that is underpinned not just by Judeo-Christian um, philosophies, but by African-centeredness. Because one of the problems that we have on this island is that we have taken ourselves away from ourselves so there's nothing to identify with. So our children have nothing to hold on to. And they cannot hold on to just one thing in the sky. They're going to have to find a foundation all right, so if them go and fly, them or them need a, a, a place to, to, to bounce off from. And where they're bouncing off from is their foundation, which is their African centeredness. So to decolonize the, um, the curriculum, um, the as, we curriculum. See, uh, as we see in many other spaces, in many other spaces that and I think is, 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 is critical. Indeed, because we want to give more than lip service to the, to the, to the, to, 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 to civics. I, I was I taught I was I was taught civics in high school. There is no love and patriotism um, being engendered. But Miss Harris, can I tell you that it has been replaced by Christianity? You have to understand that by Western Christianity. And this is this is a problem we have, you know, is that there has to be a balance so that patriotism um, has given way to Western um, Christianity, which now instead of singing patriotic songs, we're singing gospel songs. And we could do both, but somehow we have thrown out one at the expense of the other. So, 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 so at the end of the day, we are also responsible for, for, for allowing this to happen in our schools. I used to sing patriotic songs. Now I go to my daughter's um, school and, and even at devotion is Christian song and not one, day, not one patriotic song. If you have a school event and it happened at King's, King's House, everybody dancing to gospel song, not everybody forget the patriotic songs. We must balance it. And this is where we are, we are also um, wrong. I am fully aware that on the African continent, there are, um, you did say, Western version of Christianity. I think um, it, it is very important for us to, to, be, to be true to the, to the word of God, because not everything that is being masked as Christianity is Christianity. That is so, true. That, that's another debate. Yeah, that is true. And we'll have those conversations. <laughs> we'll have those conversations. Debate, I think yes. we, just, we need to yes. be true um, to, the, to, to, uh, to what God Christia- directs us to. Christianity. To, to, to be true. Yes, yes. And, and history, history is my alibi. Christianity came out of Africa, so we can still f- tra- trace it back. But, but the bottom line uh, 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 in all of this, though, is that there has to be balance because both, of, both can, can exist, um, but it just has to have to be balanced. So, so at the and end of... About the philosophy, because we don't have that philosophy, mm-hmm. I think we have not. Yeah, until we get there, then we can truly now monetize what it will take us as a nation to produce that 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 citizen yes. that is to be that 
comes from that philosophy of education. Yes. Because regardless of where the children um, hail, they mm. should have access to equitable educational opportunities. Yes. It can't be that it's only when I go to certain school, my chances of yes. survival or my chances of exceeding or succeeding yes. becomes, uh, is improved. Son. It can't be. But, so but, when it is, but the is, tentacles of colonialism still pervade the, yes. the kind of education offering that yes. we do for our children in this nation. Well, there's just so much to do, so much to, 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 to pay attention to. And we can become distracted, which, you know, this, this, even the salary thing, okay. distracting us from so much more because the, yes, the, the constitutional reform, everybody, everybody talked talk about that, them talking about the salary. Yeah, we need to pay you know. attention to that. Yes. Because what is written in law um, certainly will change the dynamics and how it is we operate as a people. Right. Is it modern form of slavery or is it so people need to be paying a significant attention to what the changes even in education yes. several changes are um the, the education act is on the um review the yes. um the child policy that the minister says that is to come into play yes. the parents need to be aware and monitor yes. be vigilant what is to come right. because whatever is written in law that is what will be used yes, yes. to either liberate or shackle the people and and i'm telling you we can't underscore that enough there, we can't underscore that enough because the Constitutional Reform Committee, they haven't come together because of the monarchy. You know, this is not about the monarchy. This is something bigger than the monarchy. So, 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 so <laughs> let us not, let's not get caught up in this whole thing about whether Charles is king or Charles is not king. It's not about that. It's a bit, it's something else. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you to Ms. People, need to, people need to design. People All right. need to design the times that know exactly what it is that is really uh, happening. And so I keep on saying, I've said to the teachers, there are several changes that are taking place. It is not coincident that the changes are all taking place at this particular time in history. Yes, let us pay attention. Let us focus pay and pay attention to all of them. We Listen, we can do this, you know. We can pay attention to every single one and deal with every single one. They are hoping that we'll get distracted by this or the other, but we can pay attention. Miss Harrison, I want to invite you to the studio. That's what we did the first time. I want you to come in so that we can open the phone lines and have our listeners um, uh, talk to you directly. Thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you for standing up strong um, in, in, in with your feminine self. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, for, for, for all that you're doing in education. I really appreciate it. Many blessings to you and the listeners. Um, uh, we are so able. God has so em uh, empowered us. We, we really need to, um, while it is that we're doing, we're praying, we also need to act faith without work, they say, is dead. And so we yes. need to be paying attention yes. and let history help us in making the decisions as we go forward. We are, purpose. We, are we not must learn from the actions of the past. Of course, we are not what we say we are. We are what we do at the end of the day. Thank you so much, my sister. All right. Blessings to you. All right. So, Lasanya Harrison, president of the Jamaica Teachers Association. We didn't talk about what she was booked to talk about. You notice that? She was booked to talk about a totally different issue regarding child months. But we could not go there today knowing that this announcement has been made at the expense of paying the teachers without having her talk about that. And this is where we are. We'll bring her back another time to talk about the other um, ongoing issues that we're, uh, our children are facing in the classroom. And she did touch on some of them. But this is an egregious, egregious act by the government of Jamaica in the parliament in the synagogue of Satan. These are narcissists and sociopaths who have sat down and decided to enrich themselves from the coffers, uh, 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 of the public coffers, people's taxes, as if it's not we paying them. They are narcissists and they are sociopaths. Appearances to the mind are of four kinds. Things either are what they appear to be or they neither are nor appear to be. 
or they are and do not appear to be, or they are not and yet appear to be. Rightly to aim in all these cases is the wise man's task, the wise woman's task. Is some epic textures. Uh, I'm going to say it again. Appearances to the mind are of four kinds. Things either are what they appear to be, or they neither are nor do not appear to be. Or they are and do not appear to be, or they are not and yet they appear to be. Right, to aim in all these cases is a fool to ask. Quickly, Kormanti Experience presenting Kormanti Fest 23, celebrating indigenous cultures, May 19 to 21, which means it's happening today in Moortown, Portland. So, May 19 to 21. Uh, how, how, how was it? How the other two days? Huh? St. Michael's Funeral Home, a state-of-the-art death care facility presenting Labor Day Gospel Concert on Tuesday, May 23, at the Otrius Primary School in Otrius St. Anne, featuring Kukudu, Carleen Davis, George Nooks, Goody Goody, Venetia Nichols, the music by DJ Matrix, MC Clover J. Time is 8 p.m. and the admission is free. And Adventurer Promotion presenting Ultimate Charm event, All White Affair at Shah Service Station Priory in St. Anne on Saturday, May 27, starting at 8, 8 p.m. Admission at the gate, 1000 General, 2000 VIP. Special guest artist, Magic Flute. Best dressed female, white outfit gets 200 US dollars. And Wake Up for Breakfast, date Tuesday, May 23, Venue Plantation, Cove Priory in St. Anne, time 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Music by Mix Master, um, DJ Banker, Hyperactive Sound, Illusion, Admission, Tier 2 tickets, 4,000, Tier 3 tickets, 5,000. The other day we told you about uh, our brother who uh, transcended... And I just want to give you some quick information regarding his funeral. And this will be happening on uh, the 27th uh, in Grange Hill in Westmoreland. That is our brother, Everton Bailey. So it's going to happen on May 27th in Grange Hill, Westmoreland. If you're at the Praise Tabernacle Worship Center in Sterling District, Grange Hill. If you're coming from the North Coast, reaching Lucy, you keep left. Follow the main until you reach Grange Hill Square and then keep left. It's a second church visible, church on the right before reaching the car mart and the laundry. It's going to be at 11 o'clock. If you're coming from Savannah Lamar, straight up passing the Froome Sugar Factory, continue to stay on the main road after passing the car mart. Mike is general and, this, and son, the fourth building. It's a second church on your left coming from Froome. So once again, it's May 27 in Grange Hill. Westmoreland, the memorial service for our brother Everton Bailey. <laughs>